Hi, we want to welcome you to our first attempt to share our experience with the wonderful array of offerings on Netflix. If you haven't cut your cable yet, this series will help you make that decision. You know, you could save over $100 a month by cutting the cable, getting Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, or HBO to go, and still have a, a great array of talent and information, and get exposure to material you have never would have seen if you had stayed on the cable. You know, uh, Netflix has a, a thing where they says it gives you 15 seconds between episodes to decide if you're doing anything with your life today. The interesting thing is that Netflix makes TV watching so much more enjoyable. The first major thing is that there are no commercials on Netflix. So you don't have to wait a week to get your next uh, series uh, episode. You don't have to uh, l wait through five commercials in a, a, every 10 minutes. Uh, and it's a great opportunity to see material you never would have seen before. So it's creating a whole new experience that will enrich your life. Let me address up front. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. And my diction might be a little different from what you're used to. And sometimes I may flub a line. But bear with me and don't send me any complaints. Just enjoy and be exposed to material I'm trying to share with you. Be kind. Binge watching. The modern addiction. Addiction is a state characterized by compulsive engagement in rewarding stimuli despite adverse consequences. It can be thought of as a disease or biological process leading to such behaviors. Binge watching is defined as watching between two and six episodes of the same TV show in one sitting. Binge watching as an observed cultural phenomenon has become popular with the rise of online media services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime which the viewer can watch television shows and movies on demand. And that is the major difference between uh, Netflix and these new media services because you control what you see. You don't have to record them. You don't have to rush home to see them. Everything is waiting for you the next day. And on Hulu and Netflix and Amazon Prime, you can see a lot of the great TV shows just you have to wait for the next day, like Saturday morning live. I see it Sunday morning. Uh, uh, Jane the Virgin, I see it Tuesday morning. So every show that's basically on cable TV can be seen on Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime. Uh, binge watching ruined my life? No, I don't think so. I think binge watching and the quality that I've been exposed to has improved my life. And binge watching is the new normal. In fact, you can watch uh, Netflix on your phone, on your laptop, on your home computer, everywhere you go and keep in touch and keep entertained rather than having to rush home to see things. Let me address a big major issue. Don't be afraid of subtitles. Those who grew up only speaking English tend to have a very English-centric view of the world, which is a great disservice to themselves. Subtitling on international films and TV series allows the audience to hear the original dialogue and voices of the actors. It is disconcerting and quite ridiculous when you see actors' voices being dubbed. Foreign languages in the film makes the movie magic feel authentic. The best example is Das Boot, the German movie about the German submarine, uh, which I recommend to everybody to see it in the original German with the subtitles. The German in the film just makes it much more authentic. I have found that once I get into the subtitles, I forget that I'm reading and I hear in my head what is being said on the screen. The human brain cannot read and listen at the same time. So after a few minutes, if the story is good, you only hear the dialogue in your head. Don't let your versions of subtitles keep you from enjoying what the great writers, storytellers, filmmakers, and actors from all over the world have to offer and enrich your life. The first one I'm going to bring to your attention is Grand Hotel. I never would have thought of watching a Spanish TV show and read the subtitles for all three seasons, which are 62 episodes long. After a while, you zone out all the Spanish speaking and focus on the actors' facial expressions and reaction. 
This show is truly amazing and really intense. You will be on the edge of your seat from the beginning to end. The 1905 costumes of both the men and women are gorgeous and impeccable. That is the cinematography that is beautiful to watch. This show is a major in every aspect. The actors are both phenomenal and beautiful. They keep the story constantly engaging and the story is done so well, you are never left confused or lost, even though there's so many things going on at, at one time. Each episode sends and ends in a cliffhanger and you can't wait to see what happens next. Velvet, another great series from Fane, will help you with your withdrawal from Grand Hotel. Yeah, it's 62 episodes and it's like a great book. You don't want it to end. But let me tell you, the clothing alone, just to see the clothing, the, the women's dresses from that period, and the men's impeccable suits, it's just a beautiful thing to see. I know you're going to enjoy it. Next, you know, Netflix is producing their own shows. And one of their own shows is Narcos. The accident is excellent, especially the actor who plays Pablo. Very nuanced performances from everyone in the cast. The direction is precise with never a wasted moment. The story moves at a very fast pace, but thanks to excellent editing, is not overwhelming. The fact that it is filmed in the actual place where the story takes place and is mostly in Spanish only adds to the series. Wagner Mora, who plays Escobar, was incredibly good. Even when witnessing some of the horrible things Escobar uh, or directed others to do, you couldn't help but feeling for him. And at the same time, you feel his own sense of insecurity or depression. The series has a real vibe to it. The story is told in a way that makes you feel you are the person experiencing the events that are being told. Yes, there is violence, sex, murder, and a lot of gunplay. But all that makes an interesting series. I know you're going to love it. Get past this idea of uh, murder and mayhem. It's very well done and a beautiful movie to watch. The next one is a series from Japan. In this series, you get to see day-to-day -day life. How safe they you in this series you get to see what day-to-day -day life really is in modern Japan. It took an episode or two to get into, it, but well worth the effort. The show mixes comedy and drama. You will love and appreciate this witty, humorous, and thoroughly entertaining series. This show is gorgeous. The painting of the series with beautiful visuals and its overall message was wonderful. Atelia in Japanese means underwear, and it's a story about a, a, a small shop that man, manufactured couture uh, lingerie. The acting and this young lady in it are just fantastic. The next one has no subtitles. It's Foley's War. Set during World War II, this crime drama f follows police inspector Christopher Foyle, who learns that crooks don't stop for anything, neither war. Michael Kitchen, Anthony Howell, Honeysuckle Weeks, and Julian Overden are perfectly matched to their characters. Mr. Kitchen's expressions were absolutely brilliant, and the men the man needed very little dialogue to pull off the emotions of this char his character every time. Hannah Sucker Greek's character put her foot in her mouth on every occasion and added the right amount of humor. The World War II history was priceless and you get to see what England went through for six years. The authenticity and attention to detail in the series is remarkable as only BBC is capable of doing. I know you're going to enjoy it. I was terribly sorry when this series ended because uh, Foyle uh, really did a great job and uh, Michael Kitchen was excellent in the role. The all-time uh, uh, binge-watching show, Breaking Bad. A friend of mine had been after me, you got to see this, you got to see it. I didn't want to get involved in anything that was had to do with drugs and things like that. But telling the addictive story of a cancer-stricken science teacher who turns to making and selling crystal meth in order to provide for his family, Breaking Bad boasts some exceptional, exceptional cast members, including Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul, Dean Norris, and Anna Bogun. With some intense emotional narrative themes and a stunning, slick way of filmmaking, 
If you haven't seen Breaking Bad, it's going to blow your mind. With a wicked sense of humor, tension galore, and some devastating emotional turbulence, Breaking Bad is one seriously sophisticated binge-watching session. With the entire series geared up to watch at the ready, there's no now you'll get hooked. And let me tell you something. These guys and uh, Mr. Cranston did a fantastic job to the point where you feel that you're watching a video of these real people. Because, you know, Breaking Bad is based on the actual story of a man who uh, got into that crystal meth business. You're going to enjoy it, and it's going to addict you. Next, I want to address the issue of Bollywood. If you're not into watching movies made in India, you're missing out on some great entertainment. You remember uh, This Is Entertainment with Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly? Well, this is, uh, this is entertainment on steroids. Hollywood films are mostly musicals and are expected to contain catchy music in the form of song and dance numbers woven into the script. A film's success often depends on the quality of such musical numbers. And let me admit, sometimes they put musical numbers in the middle of a serious thing and you wonder what the hell are they doing. But if you overlook this and look at the beauty of the, the women and the men in these series and the clothing and the outfits and you get to see a version of India you never get to see because when we hear and see of India all we hear is negative and, and poor people and broken down shacks. Here you see, see the quality of life that a lot of Indian people are enjoying. Bollywood is one of the largest film producers in India and one of the largest centers of film production in the world. A lot of people don't realize that. It is more normally referred to as Hindi cinema. Bollywood is classified as the biggest movie industry in the world in terms of amount of people employed and number of films produced. In just 2011 alone, over 3.5 billion tickets were sold across the globe, which in comparison, 900,000 tickets more than Hollywood. Also in comparison, Bollywood makes approximately 1,041 films yearly as opposed to less than 500 films made by Hollywood yearly. All Bollywood movies come with excellent subtitles. Remember that India was ruled by the British for over 400 years. That's a long time. And English is well spoken in India. And you're going to miss out if you don't get into watching these Bollywood movies, be they gangster movies, be they love movies, be they historical movies, just get on anything with five stars. And that brings another point. One of the ways to see a um, film and make sure that it's something you're going to enjoy, Netflix has a star system. Look for four and five star films, a four and five TV shows, four or five star series, and you're going to be guaranteed that you're going to enjoy because the star system is created by viewers like myself and you who determine how many stars the show gets. This is our first attempt to share our experience with the broad array of wonderful offerings on Netflix. If you have enjoyed and found these reviews of value, please share this video with everyone on your email list. We would like to share our movie finds and what TED Talks have to offer to expand your world. You know, a lot of you uh, saw my video on TED Talks. Uh, uh, they have a wonderful program uh, to share with you speakers from around the world come and give an 18-minute talk. So if you don't know about TED Talks, just put it in the search on uh, YouTube and you'll be exposed to a wonderful experience. I will be making some videos on TED Talks to share what I found to be the best tech talks on the show please write us at saturdaydiet at gmail.com if you want more of these types of videos i i hope you enjoy it and i hope you forgive my brooklyn accent and see you on the next one bye bye <laughs>